The mean or expected value of a discrete random variable is given by the formula mu or the same as e of x or expected value of x is equal to summation of x times the probability of x. So let's have an example. Compute the expected value of the random variable x given the probability distribution below. So let's say this is the probability distribution and we are going to compute for the expected value or the mean. So ang gagawin lang natin dito, gagawa tayo ng uh, row para sa x times the probability of x. I-extend lang natin yung table, tapos i-multiply natin ito. 0 times 0 0.2 is equal to 0. 1 times 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.3. 0 0.3 times 2 is equal to 0 0.6. 3 times 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.3. And then 4 times 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.4. After that, so kukunin natin yung sum summation nito. So ipa-plus natin yung 0 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4. Yan yung summation of x times p of x. So meron tayong 0 0.3 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4 is equal to 3, 9, 12, plus 4 is equal to 16. So, meron tayong 1.6. So, we have the mean or the expected value is equal to 1.6. Anong ibig sabihin ng expected value na uh, 1.6? So, kapag tinanong kayo, interpret the result. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, let's say the, uh, the random experiment here has values 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And if that uh, experiment is repeated, uh, ina-expect na magiging value niya is between 1 and 2. Kasi nga, 1.6 ang ating nakuha. Since wala naman tayong exact na value ng x, which is 1.6, kaya between 1 and 2 siya. Okay? So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng expected value na 1.6. Example number 2. A mother is expected to give birth to a triplet. Let x denotes the number of girl to be born. What is the mean of the random variable? So this time, wala tayong uh, probability distribution table. So kailangan muna natin gumawa ng probability distribution table kung saan yung lesson na iyon ay nilagay ko sa video description below. Ngayon, ay triplets ang papanganak ng uh, magulang na iyon, ng babae. So ano yung mga expected outcomes natin? So gumawa tayo ng three diagram. So meron tayo rito Girl, boy. Okay? So, ito yung unang baby nila. So, pangalawang baby nila, pwedeng girl, pwedeng boy. Itong isa ay pwedeng girl, pwedeng boy. And, we also have girl, boy, girl, boy, and then girl, boy, we have girl, boy. So, ang total number of expected outcomes natin ay walo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, meron tayong Girl, girl, girl. One, two, three. And then we have girl, girl, boy. Girl, boy, girl. Okay, next. Girl, boy, boy. Okay. And then we have boy, girl, girl. Next, we have boy, girl, boy. We have boy, boy, girl. And we have boy, boy, boy. Okay. Ngayon, ilista natin ang frequency ng bawat outcomes na ito. So, ang x natin at saka yung ating probability of x. So, meron tayong isang girl or walang girl. Merong isang girl, dalawang girl, tatlong girls. Kasi nga, ang ating x ay denotes the number of girl to be born. Okay? So, ano rito yung walang girl? Ilan? So, syempre itong tatlong boy. Meron pa ba? Wala na. So, 1 out of how many uh, uh, outcomes? So, meron tayong 1 out of 8. So, yan ang probability na walang girl. Next, probability na isang girl. So, meron tayong girl, boy, boy, isa. Uh, boy, girl, boy, and boy, boy, girl. So, we have 3 out of 8. So, for three gir ay, 2 girls, meron tayong girl, boy, girl. Girl, girl, boy, and boy, girl, girl. So, 3 out of 8. At kapag tatlo naman ang babae natin, ay isa lamang. 1 out of 8. 
So after constructing the probability distribution, makukompute na natin yung expected value. Gagawa lang tayo ng row 4x times probability of x. So ita times lang natin ito. Okay, so 0 times 1 over 8 is equal to 0. 1 times 3 over 8 is equal to 3 over 8. 2 times 3 over 8 is equal to 6 over 8. Huwag na natin munang uh, i-change sa lowest term. 3 times 1 over 8 is equal to 3 over 8. Pagkatapos, ipa-plus natin itong lahat. So, numerator na lang ipa-plus natin kasi pare-pareho naman sila ng denominator. So, 3 plus 6 plus 3 is equal to 12. Okay, so 12 over 8. Or, pwede rin itong Divided by 4, lowest term natin. So, meron tayong 3 over 2 or 1.5. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating mean of the random variable x is equal to 1.5. So, anong ibig sabihin ng ating random variable or mean or expected value na 1.5? So, kapag ang uh, mother ay magbibigay ng birth sa triplet, ang expected niya, kung hindi siya nagpapa-ultrasound, ang expected niya na may papanganak ay either 1 or 2 na may isang babae or dalawang babae. Okay, so yun ang malamang. Kaya sinabi natin expected malamang na iyon ang uh, maging bilang ng babae, either 1 or 2. Next example, the table below shows the probability of the number of cell phone units denoted by the random variable C sold per day for the past 5 months. Compute the mean. So since we are provided here with the probability distribution table, gagawa lang na lang tayo ng rows or row 4. C times P of C. Okay, so C times P of C. Imumultiply lang natin yung C sa P of C at ipa-plus natin siyang lahat. So, 0 times 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.1. 1 times uh, 0 0.3 is 0 0.3. 2 times uh, 0 0.25 is 0 0.5. 3 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.15. 4 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.2 and 5 times 0 0.25 is equal to 0. Point, okay 25 carry to 10 12 or 1.25 ayan tapos ipa-plus nating lahat ito so 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.15 0 0.2 saka 1.25 5 is equal to, so we have 5, 10, carry 1, 1, 2, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, carry 1 is equal to 2.5. So that means the mean is equal to 2.5. Ngayon, ano ibig sabihin ng uh, mean na 2.5 or expected value na 2.5? So ito ginagamit ng mga uh, stores kapag nire-record nila yung probability. Ngayon, magagamit nila ito, itong mean 2.5, ibig sabihin for the next uh, 5 months, okay, ang expected na bilang ng cellphone na mabibenta nila per day ay itong between 2 and 3, kasi 2.5 yan, so between 2 and 3. Okay, so ibig sabihin tatlo or dalawang cellphone ang mabibenta per day for the next 5 months. Yun ang kanyang expected.